。今個星期我哋再一次睇睇喺《英皇陰定本》當中所發生嘅曼德拉效應。第一個個案就係最近栽在溪水旁提到，當教會冇使徒帶領嘅時候，就會轉拜金牛毒。然而大家有冇記得金牛毒嘅英文係點樣嘅呢？ Exodus chapter thirty-two, verse four, and he received them at their hand and fashioned it with a graving tool, after he had made it a molten calf. And they said, "These be thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt." 喺呢一度出现咗一个字，就系、是、molten calf， 而唔系我哋过去所记得嘅 golden calf， 金牛犊。我哋再睇睇 NIV 译本 ，Exodus chapter thirty-two, verse four. He took what they hand him and made it into an idol, cast in the shape of a calf, fashioning it with a tool. Then they said, "These are your gods, O Israel, who brought you up out of Egypt." 喺呢一度同样冇出现金牛犊 golden calf。然而英皇钦定本同埋 NIV 译本已经系全世界最普及同埋最畅销嘅英文译本。历史上大部分人都系读呢两个译本嘅圣经。大家可以想象。如果喺呢两个译本当中，从来都冇出现过金牛犊 （Golden Calf） 嘅时候，咁样点解喺好多人嘅记忆当中，金牛犊嘅英文系 Golden Calf 呢？佢哋对于呢一个字嘅记忆又系从边一度而嚟嘅呢？并且当我哋用 Golden Calf 喺网上搜寻嘅话，会马上得到大量金牛犊嘅图片同埋记载。相反，当我哋用英皇钦定本所用嘅 Modern Calf 作搜寻嘅时候，佢系会出现 Golden Calf 而唔系 Modern Calf， 奇怪吗？甚至乎喺和合本当中，金牛犊呢一个字亦已经消失咗啦，变成只系余下嘅牛犊。出埃及记三十二章四节，阿伦从他们手里接过来，铸了一只牛犊，用雕刻的器具造成，他们就说。以色列啊，这是领你出埃及地的神。喺大家嘅记忆当中，系牛犊，还是系金牛犊呢？另一段经文系我哋最近常常提到嘅罗马书八章十九节：受造之物切望等候神嘅众子显出嚟。呢一段经文而家又变成点样呢？罗马书 chapter eight verse nineteen。For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. 喺呢一度，神所创造嘅万物，受造之物 creation， 竟然变成咗生物 creature， 奇怪吗？事实上喺 NIV 译本当中，呢一段经文仍然系用受造之物 creation， 而唔系生物 creature。Romans chapter eight verse nineteen. The creation waits in eager expectation for the sons of God to be revealed. 但系好多人嘅脑海当中，喺罗马书八章十九节，应该系 creation， 而唔系 creature。例如 Chuck Missler 牧师 ，Verse 19: For the earnest expectation of the creation waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. Now I'm sorry, your King James probably has manifestation. Some of your translations may say the revealing. That's a clue to what the Greek word is. It's apocalypsis. 佢喺讲道当中清楚指出，佢所用嘅系英皇钦定本 King James Version。另一位 Chuck Smith 牧师喺一九八零年代嘅分享当中，同样有提到呢一节经文。For the earnest expectation of the creation is Waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. 喺呢一度，佢亦都系读咗 creation， 而唔系 creature。同样地，喺和合本当中，下两节亦系再一次出现受造之物呢一个字，而唔系生物。罗马书八章二十节至二十一节，因为受造之物伏在虚空之下，不是自己愿意，乃是因那叫他如此的。但受造之物仍然指望脱离败坏的辖制，得享神儿女自由的荣耀。明显地呢一度提及所有受造之物，而唔系生物。然而喺英皇钦定本当中，都系通通变成咗生物 （creature）。Romans chapter eight verse twenty to twenty one. 
For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope, because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. 喺呢一度再一次出現咗 creature 而唔係 creation。我哋再聽聽 Chuck Missler 牧師喺同一篇講道當中嘅讀法。But here Paul is focusing on the creation, and for lots of reasons that are technical, I won't go into it. The focus of his creation is the earth. Is the earth? So he so he uses broad language. He's really talking about the earth. That's, that's there's a number of reasons why, but. Okay. For the creation was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope. Because the creation itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. 喺呢一度，大家应该可以清楚听出 Chuck Missler 牧师系提到 creation 而唔系 creature。明显地喺呢节经文当中出现咗曼德拉效应。